How's it going guys and welcome back on the last episode of the day episode 193 on one piece marathon now as a good fate as a good fate as a good creator would have it luffy has managed to not only discharge the raigo at the same time get to eneru to hit him so hard to defeat eneru and he was able to ring the bell once again now we were hit with a cliffhanger when eneru and that ball on luffy's arm shattered towards the bell eneru's body hit that huge bell and uh we were here with a cliffhanger. So without further ado, let's continue on where we left off. Yep. The bell rang. It looks like Luffy, Luffy knocked that bell out of Rick got to hear that bell he got to hear it Wow, what a guy. That bonehead did it. <laughs> Sugoi. He did it. He did it. My Tazi. And you can see the significance of that bell made the birds and the animal respond because there is a spiritual essence, there is a spiritual connection that connects that bell to that island. And that sound didn't just uh, affect the Shandian island that is up there. It also trickled to the island below. The echo of the fire of Chandra. As the bell fall. Where is the bear going to hit? Is it going to keep falling down or is it gonna stop on Skype here or is it gonna stop below? Where is the bell now? And you can see there is, there is a connection, there is, you know. Yeah, they heard it.
Yes, he did. <laughs> Snow to <de> say. <laughs> That's right. Sono, sono Torio. Mugiwara. Mugiwara, Monkey D. Luffy. In a ship. <laughs> Him and his ship. Man. Are we going to see the bell again? Ever again? I would hope that the bell will fall so much that it will hit, it will fall through and go to the come here or something What happens to Eneru now? What happens to him? Is he gonna come back? Because he's not dead, you know? He's not dead yet. What's gonna happen to him? What an arc. What an arc. And I think with this situation right now, I think it's going to unite the Skypia citizens and the Chandra citizens it's going to unite them together and they're gonna have to leave us one now if Wipeout will allow it that is yeah. she survived Oh, even him. He survived.
That Peter then. <laughs> it looks like Peter can talk somehow. So what's going to happen with the bell? Where is, you know, will the bell drop down just like that? Rune ship drop down out of Skypia on uh, inside the ocean, like uh, blue ocean, blue sea ocean, or what? <laughs> Where did they get the food? <laughs> he survived. How the hell did he survive that attack? <laughs> Who treated him? That's what I'm saying. I'm returning to where God should be. You are all where you... He's back.
I guess he's leaving. Let's sort of max him. Okay, he set off on his own without causing any more trouble on Skype here. At least. <laughs> that snake is no longer causing problems. <laughs> Party time. Wow. That is that is a huge fire, man. That's a huge, huge fire. Oh man. Man, oh man. Now what an arc. I believe this is the end of Sky Island arc. And uh it is quite an arc. It is quite an arc. After everything, after all the trials and tribulations, all the difficulties, all the obstacles, what it took to get to this point. Um, I guess at this point, the Chandra and the Skypia will now finally, finally live together as one. And they're going to... Uh, uh, correspond with each other uh, without any animosities or any bigotry um hopefully hopefully that will be the way things will be from here on out and uh we saw Eneru leaving i guess at this point he understood his situation he understood his position and he no longer feels the need to continue to fight because he's been totally defeated finally um he doesn't want to make any fuss or cause any problems he decided to leave skypia or sky island and head out to where he was trying to go this whole time to his mission to go to a place where god where a place befitting to a god like him with an endless vart that's where he's going Hopefully he will find or get to his destination. And uh, I'm not sure if we if we'll ever ever get to see Eneru again. I would like to know what became of him. Because he still has his ambition. 
And who is to say that when he gets to where he's going, he's going to remain quietly there? Or is he going to one day feel the need to come back to start destroying stuff? Who knows, right? Who knows? And that ship of his is still intact after everything that has happened. Eneru is quite a guy. Quite a, quite a villain, you know? And um, at first, Wiper was a little skeptical when he woke up. He sees Gunfall. He sees Connie's. He says, but you are a Skypian, you know, kind of raising the alert of that bigotry, that animosity they have with the Skypians. Uh, but uh, when, he when he came out, he saw what was happening, the kind of unity, right? The kind of unity uh, that is going on, the friendship, the bond that is happening. He just couldn't see anything, you know, he just couldn't utter any word that will go against uh what is happening everybody is happy the survivors are happy as one throwing party that after everything that they've been through they can smile again they can laugh again chandra island survived and uh speaking of chandra island the rest of the chandra island that is below uh cricket and the others are so happy very very happy and so uh proud of uh, mogiwara monkey d luffy and luffy pirates for getting this work done for liberating them out of the shame for setting things right right for for making things right for them and uh they will never forget it they are forever in uh in debt right with uh, the Straw Hats Pirates. Now that this arc has come to an end, I believe I look forward to see the next arc, what the next arc is going to be all about. And thinking back with the Chandra, it looks like the Chandra and the uh, previous arc, the, uh, what is it called? Alabasta arc, the people of Alabasta, are uh, actually one in the same because we started hearing the rumors of this gold bell the runes uh, uh this um uh, uh prophecy and everything right because nico robin started looking for this and started talking about it with the king of alabasta and although there were a little bit of an information inside that vault when Luffy fought Crocodile, but Nico Robin understood that this is not all there is to to finding this huge treasure, you know, this treasure. So the treasure started from Alabasta, actually. So the Chandras and the Alabasta people, they are actually one in the same. They are one in the same. They are native. They are connected. If you really think about it, you know, so it is quite an interesting story. And uh, I got to say that it is it is well, well thought out. And now we're going to look forward to see what the next arc is going to be all about, because Blackbeard Pirates, the syndicate, the world government are waiting for Luffy. They are still looking for him to take him down. And uh, I think that's that. That's where the story is going to start diving into. Hopefully, hopefully, because I would like to see what you know what's going to happen next. See Blackbeard, Whitebeard, um, uh, the world government overall, uh, uh, <laughs> right? And all the other syndicates that we saw, like uh, what's his name. Um, Oh, I forgot the name of that character. Oh. Um, I forgot his name. Anyways, um, we're going to see how things is, is going to go from here. But overall, thank you guys so much for joining me on this reaction. Thank you for supporting the channels. Thank you for supporting this series. We are far from over on this arc. There is still more to do. There is still more to cover. 
but in the meantime much appreciated so on that note stay stay safe keep on keeping on